this thick black paper that's folded on the lower looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of the wallpaper. Uh... Okay, torn wallpaper. Is that a clue? I guess that's everything important in this storage room. I guess I should go back. I'm, I'm not gonna mark that down as a, as a clue? Okay. Well, fucking hell, Hajime. I, y you're the one who keeps track of this shit. Uh, this, this, this whole case is a mess. Really? There's like plot holes and stuff in oh, it. Oh god. It's not that bad, but it still bad. sucks. The, the shadow remains of a machine. That's all me. Right. Are spread all over the floor. Oh, what are you gonna say? That's you! This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm, why is it destroyed what like this? What do you this? think? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What? What psychology? What do you mean? Well, even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Is is that criminal psychology? So that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm, seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this. Then what was that thing I saw? Yeah, the 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 fucking ISIS video. <laughs> it, it looked like an ISIS. It, it had like the same like uh like lighting and stuff. That's not how the sun goes. Is it? I don't know something like that. I'm, I'm fucking it up. The step ladders tipped over on its side. Oh, shit. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video. Oh my god, that's so sick. Yeah. Oh, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's blood around the left side of the stepladder. Okay, great. Um, as I recall, Ibuku didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case... Then it must be Hiyoko's blood. Oh no. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? What does it mean? That's a good question. Uh, let's let's examine her body. Who's up? <gasps> Yoko's body suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against that pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Oh Damn it! Who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape. That's right. Oh, but what? Yeah. yeah. Why is Yoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled, disheveled. also her sash is tied in the front. OB is in the front, why? Yeah. Did the killer do this too? Oh. But sick. why did the killer kill Hyoko? Yeah. When see, I first discovered smart. Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely ten minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? God. Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so, because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Oh boy. Uh, wouldn't that be you? Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. <laughs> I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. Oh my god, it's a girl? I mean, he's she's really a boy? Uh, is that maybe. the unnatural shape? Wow, the unnatural sheep? Shit, yeah, there's a sheep. Oh, okay. In so her I was thinking. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Uh oh. Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now. You know, she's just a thing, right? Yeah, Is that what you're saying? Right. She's, don't mess with she, me. Are you saying there's no property like Ted? Yeah. Are you saying there's no problem with that <laughs> now that she's dead? Yeah. We watched Ted too last night, it's and it so wasn't funny. as bad it as was, I thought but it would it be. Was gross. Yeah. A lot of it. Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, hey Akane. Yo. Yo, what's up? Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? Uh, I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hi Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Oh my god. Mm, let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape, binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight, I can't really reach with my hand. So undo the tape. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo. It's a metal... Oh, that's there's, a key. There's something... Is this what wait, you were what looking is that? for? Is that a metal detector? No, it's a key. It, it is a key. Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room? The key to her motel room? What? If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with the evidence. Well, that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it Come more on, toward the front. how big could that object be? It's uh, a fucking key. I don't know. Which means we can conclude this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Okay? It is a key. Hey. Some, 
Ah, oh, so it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body, right? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true there are several mysteries regarding her body... Well, just let me hear you... Yeah. Just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... That, uh... I don't know. The way they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound? <laughs> oh, God. I don't really know if that, that was their intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? That's right. It would. If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a oh sea of blood. God, that's, that's enough to make anybody faint, so why are you thinking about it? Uh, okay, uh, let's check Ibuki's body. She, she looks like a hung person. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing. Hmm? Did, what's this on Ibuki's feet? Blood. I didn't notice she was ha when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else? Oh. Well, yeah, okay. That's, uh, Damn that's right. information. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first, I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away when she, she was dead, since she was hanging... Yep, that's... that's, that's obvious. Right. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. That helps, there's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time, so I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file, but I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. Or did you really? In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? How did you... How did no one think about fucking please. think of Come this? On. What the hell is wrong with you people? Crazy, really. I mean, she she had the she had the gullible disease. Someone could have easily said, "Hey, Go if you kill yourself, yourself then you, you should do it." No, that's impossible because even if Abuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterwards. Why does it explain her death? Two different ha deaths happen at the same time. There's no way that's coincidence. Uh, well, how do you know it was the same time? Yeah, how do they know that? Maybe uh, candle. Maybe what is this? She was dead because she was a massive look. candle. That, okay, that, the dull light in the video must have been coming from this candle. How does it take, like, fucking three hours into the investigation for them to realize suicide is a possibility? A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Alright. Yep. So, what, a uh, hemp bag. That's important. Buki had a hemp bag, but what? why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? The hemp pack, upon further inspection, there's a monom mon monomy decal on the fabric. So? It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Okay, here's the rope. Uh, it's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting. Abuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the super mar supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. I wonder if that's true. Well, do they huh? have security tapes in the store? No. I don't know. I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? Uh -huh. What happened? What's happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Uh, yes, yeah, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from... Hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we... This is redundant. Yeah, you're right. Yep, I get it. So this the rope whole, the whole trial wouldn't redundant. be much of a clue. You know why? It's because, like, visual novel authors get paid by the word. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Lovely. Then I might as well search another place. So there's always a lot of padding. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. And this is one of the faster-paced games in the genre. God, oh my god. Like, I played one that was like 150 hours that could have been told in 20 hours. Of course, or 20 minutes, please. Not 20 minutes, but like 20 hours. Because there's still a lot of shit. What does this curtain do? There's a black curtain hanging at the far side. Uh, can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Okay? It's not really a full-length curtain. No, it's a halfer. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm -hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. There's a furniture section? 
I want to go. I want to go on those fucking like See, chairs. See, the, the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. <laughs> Do not remove by really by what? What is that? What do those usually wall. say? I yeah, on those mattresses. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? If they went that far, this was probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Uh, why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easily. Okay, so... great. 